Good morning, everybody. Irish here with you. It is 6.52 on Wednesday, March 9th. It is morning time, and I am getting ready to head out for the day to get uh, to hit the road and to go out and, and do what I do in the construction field. But today, you guys, I was praying with God, and he, um, he got on my heart this morning, and I'm just filled with the word. Father, I, I thank you, and I thank you for filling me up with this encouragement this morning so I can therefore bring it to other people, Father, because that's what it's about. It's about fellowship. So let's read the thought for today, and we're going to le learn a little bit more about uh, fellowship and witnessing to other people. If we had absolute faith in the power of God to keep us from drinking, and if we turned our drink problem entirely over to God without reservations, our drink problem, our drug problem, your sex problem, your eating problem, any problem you have, you guys, without reservations, we wouldn't, your anger problem, anything, you guys, anything, surrender, that's what we're talking about here. Sorry to interrupt, but we wouldn't have to do anything more about it. We would be free from drink once and for all. But since our faith is apt to be weak, we have to strengthen and build up this faith. And let's repeat that. We have to build, we have to strengthen and build up this faith. Amen. That takes work, you guys. We do this in several ways. One way is by going to meetings and listening to others tell how they have found all the strength they need to overcome drinks. So fellowship, yes, is my faith being strengthened by this personal witness of other alcoholics. Meditation for today. Listen to this, you guys. This is good stuff. It is the quality of my life that determines its value. In order to judge the value of a person's life, we must set up the standard. Well, we leave that standard and that judgment up to God, okay? We do. We shouldn't be judging anybody by the standards of any world. The most valuable life is one of honesty, purity, unselfishness, and love. Wow. I need all. I need more of those in my life. I know you guys do too, but honesty, purity, unselfishness, and love. Wow. All people's lives ought to be judged by this standard in determining their value to the world. By this standard, most of the so-called heroes of history were not great men. What shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world, if he loseth his own soul? Well, we're going to touch on that in a second here. Prayer for today. I pray that I may be honest, pure, unselfish, and loving. I pray that I may be honest, pure, unselfish, and loving. And I pray that I may make the quality of my life good by these standards. Amen. I pray that I may be honest, pure, unselfish, and loving. And I pray that I may make the quality of my life good by these standards. Amen. Good word. Good word. So let's, what is this? What is this? We got scripture in here? What shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and if he loses his own soul? I'm thinking that's Mark 8, 3, 6. And it is. It is. Let's read it in the NIV or the NSAB. For what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his soul? So we're losing something, right? So let's read in the KJV because I know a lot of you guys appreciate that. For what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his own soul? So very similar. So we're forfeiting and we're losing. We know those are not good words when it comes to our soul, right? We want eternity in heaven, right? So we need to have that personal relationship with Jesus Christ. That's very important. So Mark 8.36, we found it in our, our recovery literature. Awesome, you guys. I'm so glad that we did this study this morning and that God put this on my, on my heart. So there it is, you guys. I'm trying to bring you guys <clears throat> a message every day. There is hope out here. There is encouragement through Jesus Christ, through a personal relationship with him. It's on display every day with so many people. So get out there and be kind, be loving, and uh, uh, I hope you guys are all doing well. I, I'm feeling a little sick today. I'm hoping that it'll pass, but I really hope that all of you guys are up up to par with uh, with um, witnessing to other people the strength and the, the, the faith and the, the courage we need to overcome not losing our soul, right? We don't want to gain the world, and we don't want to lose our soul. We want to gain everything and keep our soul. We want to give our soul to Jesus Christ. All right, you guys, that's the word for today, March 9th. God bless you guys. Have a good day. If you need anything, reach out, okay?